Hey guys, your favorite Alpha Geek, Mike Myers here. It's been a little over, it's been almost exactly two weeks since the CompTIA EMEA conference in London. So I've got my British hat on. I actually ended up giving away my cowboy hat. Hi, Jerry. Anyway, uh, had a lot of fun, but it's time to get back to work. And uh, one of the things that took place while I was at the EMEA conference was this new little toy called Fire Sheep. Now, what Fire Sheep is, is, is what, what I've always called a side banding tool. What it does is it, it acts as a man in the middle attack between a target machine and a wireless access point intercepts different types of information. Now, Fire Sheep is a Firefox add-on that is an HTTP interceptor. And now these things have been around for a long time, but they've always been a little, they've been difficult to use and they've been expensive and usually had to work with a particular wireless NIC and all this different stuff. And as a result of that, it's, it's always, they've always been out there, but they've been expensive and hard to use. Uh, Fire Sheep really changes that quite a bit. But with, with this, you basically need a, almost any system and you install this with Firefox and it runs. Now, a couple of caveats before we get started here. First of all, understand this only works on unencrypted wireless networks. So when you're at the coffee shop or when you're at the airport or in your hotel, that's the time that uh, this could be most possible to happen to you. The other thing to keep in mind is that it's only for HTTP. So if you're, if you're the target and you're on your uh, eBay and you know, you're logged in under HTTPS or you're doing your Gmail, which also uses HTTPS, you're fine. Now, the, the trick though is, is that there's lots of websites out there, uh, straight Google, uh, Twitter, Facebook, where I can actually go in and I can see exactly what you're doing and in some cases I can make changes. Now a lot of this stuff is still kind of preliminary. We've only been playing with this for about an hour and a half, two hours. So uh, if we can get some more out of it, then uh, I'll, we'll make another post. But for right now, the important thing for you guys to understand is that this is a great tool. This is, this is something I'm gonna be pu immediately putting this into my Network Plus and probably my Security Plus classes too as a absolutely fabulous lab demo. Okay, so anyway, let's go ahead and watch this process. Now, what I want you to do here is, first of all, look over here. What we have here is a Windows XP system. Uh, we tried, and this is going to be the attack machine, and we can actually see the sidebar running right now, and this is uh, Fire Sheep itself. It also needs WinPCAP. Now, you can get all this from this one website. It's called CodeButler.com WAC Fire Sheep, so you can get all this here. Now, there's a couple of things I want to talk about. One of the things you've got to watch out for is we had a lot of trouble getting Fire Sheep started. It seems, in our opinion, that there, it's only certain network cards it's going to run with. It, it doesn't seem to be able to kick a lot of network cards into promiscuous mode. This has always been a problem with these. And uh, anyway, so it seems that most real tech cards are not working with it. Uh, we tried this on a Windows 7 Ultimate laptop running the Dell wireless NIC and we were unable to get it to work there. It, so what we did, and as I always do, when in doubt, get back to Windows XP. So we took this Windows XP box, he keeps going to sleep on me. So we took this Windows XP box and it is running a Broadcom wireless NIC in it and it kicked right in, there was absolutely no problem. So when you install this, keep in mind you're also going to have to install WinPCAP. Most of my machines always have WinPCAP on them anyway, but it seems we had the best luck when you go ahead, they have their own hot link, you install their WinPCAP, and then uh, you install the Firefox add-on, it seemed to work out really well. Okay, so let me log in here. So what I wanna do is let's take a look at this machine over here. What I've got, as you can see, I've got Google up and running, and I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually logged in currently. And you can also see that I've got Facebook up and cooking. So what I've done now is I've got two of the known websites that Fire Sheep can intercept. Now if you look over here, you'll see that Fire Sheep runs. And by the way, to get Fire Sheep, it's not in where you'd think. You have to actually go under uh, View, Sidebar, and you'll see Fire Sheep is right there. Uh, so most of the time, if you're like me, you always go to Tools, Add-ons. The only thing you want to do under Tools, Add-ons is under options, make sure that it's running the network card that you want. It seems by default it never picks the right card. So we had to go in here and pick the proper interface and then it worked just fine. Okay, so 
Now, if you take a look over here, you'll see I've got two uh, intercepts that have already uh, shown up. And what it's done is we've got, it sees a session, a Google session for desweds at gmail.com. Keep in mind, the cool part is it has no idea what, what computer this is. So if I have 20 people running, I don't know which one of these people is desweds, but it will show up here. And it also shows Mike Myers' Facebook. So there's no correlation. This is basically scanning the network, but there's no correlation of computer to what's running. All you're seeing are individual sessions that load up. So this is actually kind of interesting. I've used all kinds of different scanning, sniffing tools over the years, and usually what you'll do in those situations is you'll do some kind of scan and it'll show all the active IP addresses or something like that. So this is a very different uh, paradigm in that we don't know who these people are, they're just on the same wireless network. Oh, by the way, we're not using my standard heavy-duty uh, WPA2 encrypted network. We actually fired up an old WRT54G, the old black and blue Linksys boxes, and set it up totally uh, unprotected just for this demonstration. So there's only two machines on this entire wireless network currently just to keep a nice control scenario. All right, so you'll see, now these have popped up. You'll see where it says uh, stop capturing. I had to go ahead and click that to start the capture. And on the target machine, I actually had to take some time, it, uh, one or two minutes before these things showed up. So I logged into Facebook and clicked around for a little bit, and then it did eventually pop. But if it doesn't happen instantaneously, don't panic. So what we can do here is, well, first of all, let's come over to the left and look at this one more time. So you'll see here's my uh, current Facebook page for today. Now let's scroll back over to the right. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and it's going to open up a new tab in Firefox for me. Everything is so slow on this system. That's the only bad side. While he, he will load, but while he's loading, look down here. What you can do is I can actually click on here and I can get uh, all my cookie information for that particular site. So if I don't want to look at that stuff, I can just minimize that. So anyway, you can see it's running a little slow, but the, the bottom line is that this is my account and it's logged in. So if, I, if I'm lucky, chunka, 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 chunka. Let's see if I can edit my profile. Now keep in mind, I'm doing this from the attack machine, not from my actual machine. So let's change Mike Myers from male to female. Because I feel pretty. It works. So you can appreciate that this is a pretty cool tool. Now keep in mind there were other situations where we would try to make changes, for example, in Facebook, and it would force a, uh, us to log in again. And again, I apologize, I'm not that skilled at HTTP to appreciate some of the nuances of what's taking place here. I'm sure a good web page guy would probably going to call me up and go, well, Mike, that's just blah, 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 and thanks. I'm looking forward to some good feedback on that. Anyway, FireSheep is a fun little tool. Now, don't go out to your local coffee shop and get yourself in trouble. I don't even know what the legality is on that type of stuff. But for a lab, both in Network Plus and Security Plus, FireSheep is going way, way up right to the top of my list. It's a lot of fun and it's easy to use. Enjoy FireSheep. I know I will.